Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, so keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Gemini and the person Gemini is connecting with or will be connecting with? Okay, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. We also have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Then we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. It's looking good. Whoever's coming back to whoever here, I kind of feel like there's still a lot of love here that this person may have for you or vice versa. So again, it could be somebody coming back to you, Gemini. This could be you going back to someone. It's just energy, so it could be vice versa. How does Gemini currently view this? Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles here, Virgo energy, Two of Swords, Libra, okay, got the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, yeah, uh, Gemini, I just kind of, I feel so heartbroken right now, but I'm not sure why, I got, oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, Oh, Gemini, I feel really heartbroken right now. Okay, Gemini, when it comes down to you, you're, you're, you're looking fabulous to say the least here. You're looking really good here. Um, I feel like somebody's coming into your energy field, okay? And I do feel like this is somebody that you walked away from, all right? Um, now, you see that there's two swords here at the bottom. You're holding the two of swords. So I feel like you walked away from someone here. And now your main priority is you. Your finances and your career and your money. You're very money focused right now. And you're very focused on yourself and your material world. Um, that is your main focus. That is your sole for, for focus is you and your money, right? But I feel like somebody's coming in. And I feel like someone's approaching here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Somebody's coming in. And I don't even think that you're expecting it, to be quite honest, because you're so wrapped up in yourself. And I'm not mad at you for it. You're so wrapped up in yourself here. And it's like this person realizes you're not heading in their direction, so they have no choice but to kind of head in yours. Okay. Let's see. Uh, how does this person currently view this relationship with Gemini? Okay. Got the Ten of Wands here, Sag. We got the Seven of Wands here, Leo. Then we have the Six. Interesting. Very interesting, this person here. Um, it kind of looks like something obviously came to an end here. You walked away and this person was forced to accept the fact that, you know, you don't want to be with them anymore. And they're accepting that. I feel like this person was a little bit upset with you because you chose to kind of walk away from them and really focus more so on you. But this person's determined. That's what scares me and worries me just a little bit. This person is determined to succeed. But that's what worries me just a little bit here because I feel like this person's into proving points. Not because they want to prove a point to themselves, but they want to prove a point to you. And that's what worries me just a little bit, Gemini, because I kind of feel like there is a little bit of resentment on this person's behalf. Um, obviously, things are coming to an end. They're not happy about it, but they're going to prove a point to you. And I don't know what that point is. And that's what's worrying me. So let's let's check this out, man. <sighs> Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. 
I feel like this person is throwing a whole other person in your face. So just be prepared for that. Yeah, this person is going to prove a point to you. This person, I feel like this person, gosh. It's weird because they, they're still keeping you in the loop, but they have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the part of the whole plan here. You have to be a part of all of this. Their grand scheme here, to be honest. Um, I kind of see this person, like I said, I see this person extending themselves to you, right? They are coming in to talk to you. They don't want things to come to an end. They don't. But, but, they are going to prove to you, which that's what, that's what I was getting in that cancer reading, right? With, with somebody similar to this, right? Because they're coming in, you know, trying to talk to you, trying to smooth things over here, bringing love into the equation because they want you in their life. They don't want you to go away. But they're going to throw this in your face, nonetheless. They're going to throw this in your face uh, where, you know, they're giving off this energy like, I'm better off without you. Look at me. I'm having fun. I'm partying. I'm single. I don't need you. <sighs> you know... Look at me, look at me. You know, I'm so much better off without you. Because they're going to prove a point to you. And I don't think that you really care. Like, I don't even feel like you're paying that much attention to them. I got to be honest. Like, two swords, that's an energy of just flat out ignoring somebody. And I feel like that's what you're doing because you're so wrapped up in yourself. And you're so wrapped up in focusing on your overall independence here and your money that you're not even thinking about this person. That's why when this person kind of hits you like out of nowhere and, you know, gravitates towards you out of nowhere, you're not even expecting it. But they're coming in, you know, trying to have some sort of small talk with you. You know, just, just to kind of smooth things over. But they're going to throw this in your face. And the whole, like, goal, the whole goal here is to piss you off with the devil and the king of swords here. It's, it's, it's to piss you off. They're looking for a reaction that they're not going to get. They're looking for a reaction that they're not going to get from you. Okay. What am I tapping into? Poor Gemini. Gemini, what did I do, man? I just want to focus on me. This person's trying to prove a point. How does Gemini feel about... Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, I love your energy, Gemini. Oh my gosh, this person. I can't deal with this person right now. We have the Ten of, uh, blah, blah, ten of, ten of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Ten of Cups, uh, Pisces. With the Strength card here, you have tunnel vision, dude. Tunneled vision. Like, you're so focused on your material world, um, and you're focusing on the things that bring you joy and happiness and abundance. That's what you're willing to embrace in your life, right now that is your sole focus is i want to do things that make me happy that are going to bring abundance and stability into my life that's what i'm willing to embrace here we go again Ugh, i don't like this because i feel like this person not only are they trying to make you jealous they're trying to freaking prove a point to you that i'm better off without you and if that's the case, I just don't understand why this person constantly feels the need to say that they have to keep making their presence known in some fashion, you know? Like, I don't know if the two of you follow each other on social media or what have you, but this person's going to make it a point to make you jealous, okay? And I just feel like this person, listen, between me and you, I just feel like this person's really upset really upset that you're choosing to kind of walk away from them and really focus on you and i feel like this person there's a little bit of resentment there that this person has and i just feel like this person is being a little bit immature i have to be honest because it's like it's one thing to do things that make you happy because it makes you happy um do it you know do do the things that make you happy right but the fact that this person is constantly trying to make you jealous, trying to get, trying to prove a point to you, and in reality, I don't even think that you care. 
I don't, you have some, look, look at your energy alone, Gemini. It's just so beautiful. Like you're, you're, you're doing really good for yourself, financially speaking. You're surrounding yourself with people who are very uplifting, very supportive. I mean, come on. And I just feel like this person sees you living your best life. Not really trying to prove a point to anybody. You're not trying to convince anybody that you're happy without them. You're not trying to convince anyone that, you know, you just got it going on. You're not trying to convince anybody. You know what I'm saying? And this person sees that and they're pissed. It's like, yeah, it's going to come out. It's going to come out. Gosh, I'm scared. Okay. Gemini, I just feel like this person is flat out trying to make you jealous. It's kind of like they're, I, honestly, I feel like this person is throwing, trying to throw you off your path here. They're trying to throw you off your game. And I don't think that you're allowing it to happen because, again, it's like, you're probably like, who are you talking about? That's how much you don't care. How does this person feel about this relationship with Gemini? Yep, they're coming in. They're coming in. Got the Hermit Virgo energy. I feel like this person's gonna isolate themselves from you just for a little bit. And they're gonna come right at you full force here with the star card here. They're trying to make something happen with you. You got the two of cups here with the king of wands. And then we got the ten of cups with the nine of pentacles. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> This person just really wants to be with you. There's a lot of love that this person has for you. A lot of love. I just feel like this person's a little bit upset because you're not taking them up on their offer and you're so focused on you. And I do feel like this is a solo journey. I don't feel like this is attached to anyone but you. Um, and I just kind of feel like this person doesn't want to be alone. That's another thing that I'm getting. Like, this person's tired of being single. They don't want to be alone. Like, they want a family. They want a family here. And they want it with you. And they're tired of being alone. Oh. Yeah. This person's tired of being alone. Tell me more about the nine of... This is freaking sad. Yeah, they kind of feel like like this new beginning was kind of stolen from them. And now they're back at, you know, it's just them all over again. Because they kind of feel like it was right there. Like they had it. Like they feel like, ugh, like it was right there. I had it, and then it, it left. It left. And now they're back to, now it's just me. I kind of feel bad for this person. I do. Because, like, again, it's like, I get why this person is doing what they're doing. You may not like it, but to be quite honest, I don't even feel like you've noticed it, to be quite honest. I don't even feel like you're paying attention to this person. Because you're just surrounded by a bunch of, like, Ugh, amazing things right so many things are happening for you and it's just everything's falling into place everything's looking really good for you Gemini and they see that and it makes them jealous because they want to be a part of it they want to be a part of your life and it's like you're just kind of kicking them out at this point here what actions will Gemini take towards this person or moving forward It's getting serious. I'm more worried about your your reaction than anything else. Oh, man. What actions will this person take towards Gemini? Okay. All right. All right. Gemini. I kind of, I, listen, <laughs> let's, let's start off with them first because I feel like they're the ones who are pretty much kind of sparking all of this. They are approaching. 
I feel like this person has been in hermit mode for quite some time. They've been leaving you alone. They're going to get out of this hermit mode and they're going to take action in your direction here. Okay. Um, I kind of see this person wanting to kind of get back together with you, having some sort of reconciliation, which we did see here. They do want to reconcile with you. They do want to come back together with you. They want to spend time with you. They, they want you in their life. All right. Which we did talk about. They do want you in their life. Um, I don't feel like you mind with that six of pentacles energy. I feel like you still do love and care about this person. There is no bad blood. In other words, uh, you on your end anyways, right? You just don't want no problems. And I feel like you're making it very crystal clear to this person. Like, you know, we can hang out. We could probably even be friends, right? You don't mind, right? Because you have a heart of gold. You don't mind, right? But you're making it very crystal clear to this person that you're standing very firm on your decision. You're walking away. And that's that. And you're making it very clear to this person. I don't feel like you're coming off like very harsh or like, you know, you're, you're, I don't think that you're being rude to this person at all. If anything, you're coming from a place of love here. You just really want to focus on you. And that's that. You just want to focus on you here. And you just want peace in your life. And I feel like this person comes in and they bring a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. But again, it's coming from a place of, I just really want you to be a part of my life. I, I, I see what you're getting yourself into, which is amazing, Gemini, right? And that's how they're looking at you. Like you're, you're, you're walking into a lot of amazing things. And I don't know if you know that. But we're talking about abundance, stability, possibly even wealth and just overall happiness and joy and you're embracing this okay and they see that and they're a little bit jealous that they can't be a part of it and they just want to be a part of this journey with you okay that's it that's all they want okay that's it um i do see you having this exchange with this person here but i'd be i, I gotta be honest i feel like you're focused I feel like you're so focused on what it is that you're trying to obtain for yourself here that you just don't have time for them. You don't have time for them. And you're not allowing this person to break your focus or go after the things or stop you from going after the things that you want. So like I said, Yeah, they're coming in like, you know, like, what we could be friends. They don't want to be your freaking friend, Gemini. Don't fall for that. They don't want to be your friend. They do not want to be friends with you, okay? They want more than a friendship. That's it. They want to be a part of this journey with you, and you're telling them no. And they, they I'm sorry, but them telling you, like, oh, we could just be friends. We could just hang out. They don't want that. They don't want that. And you know that they don't want that with you. You are you already know. Because again, you are their happiness. You are their happiness. They want you. That's what they want. That's what they want. They want what they want. And well, the thing is, is that they're realizing this cycle is... The, this door of opportunity has closed in. That's the thing. It, it's closed in. It's too late. It's too late. They, I feel like this person had the opportunity, to be quite honest, to make things right with you. Um, and I don't feel like they did. I don't feel like they did. For some of you, this person let way too much time go by. Um, for some of you, that is the case. Any advice for Gemini in regards to this spread? We have calling your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. Oh, oh yay. Uh, help bring you back together. Uh, it probably doesn't even say that. Yes, it does. With chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. They're not going to let you go. They're not letting this go. They're not letting you go. And that's just that. That's just that. Here's the thing, Gemini, is that it's like by you even having, I don't know, I mean, 
I don't know, do what you want, man, but I just don't see you, I, I don't see you doing it. So I'm more about the um, Eight of Wands here. You could even be light workers, but anyways, we have the hair font with the magician and the seven of wands here. Again, you're in full blown manifestation mode here, and I feel like you're growing, dude. I feel like you're growing, um, spiritually speaking. And again, you're in full blown manifestation mode, and you're not letting anything stop you, not even this person. But I kind of feel like you know that they're coming. You already know that they're coming here and you're kind of waiting on them because it's like, I feel like you're very spiritual. You're very intuitive. You already suspect that it's only a matter of time before they show up knocking on your door, but you, you don't care. You don't care. You're not letting anything stop you. Not this person, not anybody. And they see that. They see that. Uh, so just be aware of that, all right? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.